Okay, so we're first going to have you introduce yourself. I'm, and I'm the Activities Director at Ballard. My name is Nate Boak. I'm the Ballard Activities Director. There's certainly a lot of challenges of, of having a year-round schedule. Um, I, I feel like we, we never have time to decompress, work on projects, building activities, things like that. Within our district, I'm blessed because I'm, I'm able to have the assistance of four administrators, and a lot of those are former ADs and former coaches, so they understand the grind that it takes to, to get through these seasons. It's an impossible job to do on your own, and, and if you want to burn people out and, and be constantly replacing your activities director, then just tell them they're on their own. You can be literally working seven days a week all year long. It's, it's that demanding. And then we continue to just add activities and add sports. There's just, there's just a lot to it. It's a, it's a very, very busy job. And if we don't all jump in and, and help, it's just, it's just gonna lead to, to one person getting burned out and that's not what we want. I'm going on my sixth year here at Ballard and, and Nate was the athletic director that hired me and so uh, you know we've had we've had that amount of time together and as far as supporting our programs I've been in, in other situations at other schools I've had to do various things there whether it was scheduling or getting the buses lined up various things in the gym or the facility for maintenance that Nate and the people that work with Nate you know take care of here at Ballard and so that's been really appreciative I have fewer things on my plate. Our coaching staff has fewer things on our plate, which allows us to focus on coaching in, in our coaching staff and our team and our players. Uh, so I've, I've been appreciative of that. Uh, I work with an organization called the NHS BCA, the National High School Basketball Coaches Association. And one of the, the phrases that that organization uses is kids need coaches. And so I'll extend that to say that coaches need good athletic directors. And that's something that we have here at Ballard. All the success goes to our coaches and athletes. They put the work in, they do the time. I'm just the guy that helps facilitate and, and give them the support they need. We've had some great uh, teams come through here the last couple of years, our, our boys basketball, girls cross country. We got the banners on the wall for Peyton Noe. We, we've had some really good groups come through. I just can't speak enough about it. I mean, it goes even on to the fine arts side. We're cheerleading or a band or our chorus departments. I mean, we just, we've had kids excelling. And when kids excel and get better, it's contagious. And everybody wants to be a part of that. So to me, that's what makes it important. That's, that's what's the driver behind that success is those kids. People forget that like, even though Nate's our AD, like he has passions and things that he is passionate about, things that he likes to do. For example, one of the things he's super passionate about is, is umpiring and uh, officiating and we all know how much we need those in our state right now. And so that's one of the other reasons why we, we work so closely with him is because we want to free him up to be able to pursue that passion of his. We don't ever want to put him in a position where he doesn't feel like he can do that anymore. So uh, I have a coaching minor and part of that coaching minor I had to take a couple of fishing classes and I loved it. Just started following uh, the assigner around and got into it found out that it was pretty good money as a college kid. You kind of need those things. And so it just transitioned to where now it's not about the money, it's about opportunities to network with other coaches, umpires. And it's exactly what the AD field is like. I get to, I get to do the same thing, but I still get to be connected with the sport of baseball. I'm pretty fortunate where I'm at at my school where I have other administrators who help me, give me the opportunity, I would say, to do both. So. You know, it's it, organizing yourself, getting planned, getting everything set up day to day, what you need to do, and then, uh, you know, having the opportunity to, to get ready. You know, you got to be ahead of, ahead of the schedule and have everything ready to go. Those are all, you know, proponents that make, the, make it work, but I couldn't do it without, you know, my coach's support and without other administrator support. The guy would literally do anything for you. He likes to help people, and I think that's one of the things people don't know about him. He's a perfectionist. Uh, he's not going to sleep until all the details are taken care of. Ticket takers are getting m more and more difficult to find. You know, just helpers in general. Um, we're, we're pretty fortunate in our community that we have uh, those people that are willing to help. But some, some places don't. But yeah, concession stands, tickets, you know, just all the things that it takes to make activities go. He's constantly working on trying to get those details all ironed out. I, I'm just there to, 
guide the boat. And if the boat's not rocking, then, then we're good. When it gets a little choppy waters, then I jump in and try to help out. Well, I like to watch our kids succeed every day. They set goals, our coaches set goals, the team set goals, and it's great to see them hit those goals. Um, me, on my side, you know, that's my goal is to see them succeed. And when I see that, that that's what it's all about.